Hey, what's up? Jimmy Brown from Guitar World here with another episode of String Theory and part 20 of this series of lessons entitled I Got Rhythm. So far in our exploration of triplet subdivisions, we learned about eighth note triplets, which are three equally spaced notes per beat, and quarter note triplets, which are three equally spaced notes played across two beats. To review, quarter note triplets may be thought of as halftime triplets, as they're half as fast as eighth note triplets, occurring on every other eighth note triplet, and have that staggered slow motion quality to them. We're now going to venture in the opposite direction in rhythmic dimension and learn about a smaller and faster subdivision called the 16th note triplet. And it's nearly identical or fraternal twin, the sextuplet, which has the same rhythmic value and duration. 16th note triplets and sextuplets may both be thought of as double time triplets, as they're both played twice as fast as eighth note triplets, with six evenly spaced notes per beat instead of three. What's interesting and cool here is that they can be phrased and, or factored three different ways. 16th note triplets occur as two three note groups, which link to a pair of even or straight eighth notes. Sextuplets can either be three groups of two, which relate to eighth note triplets with an extra note inserted between each one, or as just a straight six note group or row based on the downbeat. In any case, the notes are usually alternate picked down, up, down, up, down, up, or down, up, down, up, down, up, unless you're using some kind of legato articulations, meaning hammer ons, pull offs, taps, or finger slides. Let me demonstrate how this all works using a repeating C note on the G string's fifth fret. One and two and three and four and one and two and three triple and triple four triple and triple one and two and three a triple letter four triple letter one and two and three triple and triple four triple and triple one and two and three a triple letter four triple letter one. So we begin with slow, even eighth notes, counting one and two and, one and two and. Then on beats three and four, we pick groups of 16th note triplets and count three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet. In bar two, we revert back to straight eighth notes for two beats, then switch to six tuplets, now counting three a triple letter, four a triple letter. One and two and three a triple letter, four a triple letter. You'll notice the two different accent patterns and beaming configurations used here in the notation, with beat three of bar two encompassing three two note groups and beat four being a straight six. Since we're only playing one repeating note here, the C, the use of accented pick attacks is what conveys the different groupings. But the difference in sound between 16th note triplets, you know, two groups of three, and six tuplets, three groups of two, or a straight six, may also be determined by the melodic contour of the line, meaning the ways in which the notes go up and down. They have inherent natural accents. Our next example, figure two, illustrates how this works by incorporating some different notes into the phrasing. One and two and three and four and one and two triplet three a triple letter four triplet and triplet one and two triplet three a triple letter four triplet and triplet one. So we start out here on beat one with two even eighth notes, counting one n, then switch gears on beat two, transitioning to eighth note triplets and counting two triplet. So we're going one and two triplet. Now on beat three, we double up the rhythm of the triplets by adding a pull off to B flat from C on each note. Three a triple letter. So in beat two, we were just going two triplet, and we're going three a triple letter, three a triple letter. This naturally conveys a sextuplet phrasing, as we're hearing three two note groups, which are counted three a triple letter. So we're adding a, uh, we have three triplet, we're going three a triple letter. And on beat four, we change things up by substituting a new lower note, G, for C after each pull-off. Four triplet and triplet. This automatically changes the phrasing to two sets of 16th note triplets, right? So we have two sets of three now, which are counted four triplet and triplet. As a beneficial drill, you should try practicing alternating back and forth between beats three and four here in a continuous loop like this. 
Three a triple letter, four triple and triple. Three a triple letter, four triple and triple. Three a triple letter, four triple and triple. Kind of reminds me of a song, um, Blue Rondo a la Turk, famously recorded by uh, Al Jarreau and others. Figure three further exemplifies the distinctions between 16th note triplets and those two slightly different sextuplet groupings by incorporating additional notes that effectively dictate the phrasing patterns. We're playing six evenly spaced notes per beat throughout, and it's the melodic contour that demonstrates and determines the note groupings and how they're counted and beamed. Here's the example. One and two and three and four and one triple and triple two triple and triple three a triple letter four triple letter one triple and triple two triple and triple three a triple letter four a triple letter one triple and triple two triple and triple three a triple letter four a triple letter one triple and triple two triple and triple three a triple letter four a triple letter one. In this example, beats one and two of both bars feel like they're each made up of two three note groups with an ascending chromatic row on each string, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, or one triplet and triplet. Beats three and four bar one sound like three two note groups with two notes toggling back and forth. Three a triple letter, right? And finally, beats three and four of bar two, the last bar, feel like straight descending sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three a triple letter, four a triple letter. You count that as one a triple letter, or four a triple letter. Four a triple letter. So experiment and have fun mixing and matching these interchangeable subdivisions in your own licks and melodies. I'm Jimmy Brown. See you next time.